Well, we've got another money up by Benku Zoe, and this is the XL2740, and this is a 1920 by 1080 resolution, so not your 2K or 4K monitor, but this 1920 by 1080 resolution is very clean, modern, but also it runs at 240 hertz. So that means that you can have like some really high frame rates per second. But technically you do need a CPU and graphics card that can be stable throughout to create those sort of frame rates per second. BenQ Zowie recommends um, at least the GTX 980. Um, AMD is obviously a little bit equivalent, probably like a, a RX 580. Um, or what else can we use as well as a graphics card? Um, I'm using the GTX 970 EVGA Simple Clock Vision. Uh, ver vision, the vision is clear. I'm using the GTX 970 version um, uh, EVGA graphics card, which is super clocked, and technically, it is sufficient to run 240 hertz, no problems. But that's because it's super clocked, and yeah, and that's what we're rolling with. And I've got the Ryzen. I think no, I haven't got a Ryzen chip in there. I've got um, Coffee Lake. Core i5 8600K, so it's definitely got enough performance without even overclocking it. But if I overclocked it, it would be more. Oh, that's more fun, isn't it? You could got the fun side, then you got the non-fun side. But anyway, to so people that want more real estate, you can go for the 27 inch at 1920 by 1080 with 240 hertz. Look at the color. The color of this monitor is super clean and slick you do have all your ports and that you do get this little puck key and you can go from any colors you want or program it out as you want i have put this in a number of my videos uh, it plugs in via a micro usb it does have on the side where you can hang your headphones on but this monitor is so big it's hard to see so you can hang your monitor on the side there it does have two USB 3s on the side, a headphone jack, a microphone jack, uh, and underneath it's got a VGA, it's got two HDMI, and it's got display port. I don't think it's VGA actually, not too sure. Uh, no, it's actually, it's actually, uh, what's that one? Sub, DVI sub, that's on the back. And on the other side is nothing, and underneath is a power cord, and obviously your Microphone jack goes at the bottom if you want to, or there's a headphone jack on the side here. Headphone jack, microphone jack on that side. I'm not sure there's a headphone jack underneath as well. No, there's a microphone jack. Oh yeah, and a downstream, uh, no, upstream USB port as well. And obviously the monitor goes up and down with ease, and then it swivels left and right, and it does portrait mode, and it just looks really nice. And then you've got all of these settings as normal, like I've gone through my videos, FPS 1, FPS 2, RTS, Game 1, Game 2, Game 3, Movies, and Standard. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It has got a uh, Diac as well, and it's got color vibrance. Um, so you do get quite a lot of stuff and plus you get all the cables involved like obviously the display port, the HDMI port and then you get a, an upstream cable as well for USB, obviously it's USB 3 um, and you get all the necessary things and obviously this putt key thing and then obviously it's easy to connect together and you could connect them together and have a, like a dual wheel these if you will, if you want to but what I think is, is the bezel is slightly thick and it should be a bit thinner, but that's neither here or there, and it does look pretty cool. But now, I just thought I'd just talk to you while I'm going through the video, because obviously I was waiting for Fortnite to uh, obviously finish, and it has finished now, so yeah. Anyway, the settings are really clean, really, everything looks really clean actually, it looks really super sharp, to be honest with you. This is 1920. 19, 1920 by 10, 1080 resolution and it runs at 240 hertz and it looks super, super clean. I like it, it looks good. But come on, let's, let's roll with the game so we can test it out.
Yeah, so if you're looking for the XL2740 and you need a bigger bit of real estate screen, which is awesome. I literally got so focused into playing the actual game that I forgot that I was actually doing a review. It, it does feel like, it feels like a very high definition 4K like screen. It just feels clean, it feels natural. It feels really good. The color, um, the color uh, calibration looks like straight out of the box seems all right. It seems better than the others. I had to tinker around a little bit with uh, the color vibrance and obviously the saturation, contrast and everything like that. But this one seems to be well all right straight out of the box. And uh, yeah, I've had fun with it already. Uh, I'm not even sitting properly and the screen just seemed really nice. I really liked it. And uh, technically, it's only 1920 by 1080 resolution, but 240 hertz. So please, if you want to get 240 hertz stable and you still want to be able to get those frame rates like and refresh rates going really quickly, you need a decent CPU and a decent graphics card. Always check or leave a link, or leave a comment down below and ask me what's the best sort of like gaming gear that you need or the minimum requirements to get that sort of uh, 240 hertz like already connected or 144 hertz. Depends on what you're playing. It's, everyone's different. Uh, but technically, with um, Fortnite, 240 hertz looks really good. It looks smooth as anything. Anyway, I definitely 100% recommend the BenQ XL2740. Without a doubt, it just feels flawless and it feels nice. The aesthetics are really quite cool with it. And um, we've got to try one more thing. Um, and that's going to be the shields because why are the shields there? But I guess does it work better because it's a bigger screen if people walk by and everything like is it going to be better? So we're going to check that out. But yeah <laughs> I had to come back and just talk about how clean this screen is I didn't realize how clean it really is. I don't know whether it is because it's more calibrated or anything like that, but it just looks super sharp. And I've never really seen 1920 by 1080 resolution look so stunningly sharp, especially at 240 hertz. And considering I'm not using it as gaming right now, I'm just using it just on the web, it looks absolutely stunning. Everything I go on looks absolutely stunning. Just looks absolutely lovely. I don't know why I keep saying absolutely lovely. But everything just looks sharp and looks, it just looks good. Love it. Um, ah, thank you. Thank you. Let's go and thank you. Da -da -da -da. This monitor though is £529 to buy. I think I might have seen it at cheapest at £519.99. But you can see why it is definitely worth it. It is so clean and clear. It is almost as good as like a designer monitor not a designer monitor, I would say like more of a video post-production. It just looks so clean. And it's 27 inches, so you'd think with all of this real estate, it'll probably be blurry a little bit more, but it's not. It's really clean, really sharp, and you've got all this functionality. Anyway, let's check out the wings. So if you're interested in XL2740, then this is the monitor to look at because technically it's better than majority of monitors because it's eSports monitor. Not just because it's an eSports monitor, it's because it's got all the functionalities of the ones that are entry levels, i.e. the XL2411P. That is an entry level monitor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of these monitors all together and give you a little sales guide of which is the best eSports monitor to game on. Because all the pros use it. So TV for Joes, monitors for pros. I'm Roger and I'm out. Subscribe, share, like, and favorite my videos everywhere across the world and share the videos all across the world because it helps me out really well. And plus I really appreciate it. And everyone that's commenting down below, please, 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 when you comment, just comment certain things about the video, not about some other video, 
because it makes it a bit of a mission to figure out what comment you're going through. And there's so many comments I'd go through, and it would help me out. Also, I'll leave the link in the description down below, so you could uh, obviously tally who charts and go and get yourself a XL2740 monitor to game on. And I'll see you soon, son. See you later, mate. Bye-bye.